I wasn't watching the news. I was going to go to bed early last night, and I got a text that there were shots fired in the area. Okay. But then I just kept getting text after text after text, which is a beautiful thing. People uh, from around the state, family, friends, um, who have asked, are you okay, are you okay, are you okay? Um, and uh, so that was spent a lot of time last night texting, calling. Then this morning, uh, talking with Father Gordon, he was at the pavilion, the MSU pavilion, with some of the religious leaders in the area. Um, and I was not there myself, so, um, but it sounded like there's parents and students gathering and some religious leaders there uh, for support. So he was there and he didn't get back till 3.30, 4 in the morning. This morning, two passages came to me. One was from 1 Corinthians, which was if one part suffers, all suffer in terms of the body of Christ. And the second was from Romans, which is the famous passage, nothing can separate us from the love of God that we have in Jesus Christ. Tragedies are real and you can't pretend them away, right? But you also have to see them wrapped around and somehow absorbed into this love of Christ. And you can't always see that element, but it's there. And so uh, holding these together and mourning with those who are mourning without losing sight of Christ and his love and realizing that he's with us, uh, walking through it, suffering with his body, the church, who are mourning as well. Here, as people come in, they're coming to adoration. Um, some of them, they, they don't know where they're going to eat. Are, are the dorms uh, uh, feeding them, right? Um, and so uh, we're here and we're, we're trying to offer. We have uh, Sherry Drayton, I also notice here, who, who can provide some counseling. So psychological, spiritual, e even physical support, anything we can do to help whoever comes by and want anyone who, who needs it to come and see, we'll see what we can do. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, we begin all prayers, even the difficult ones, by giving thanks to you. By giving thanks for your goodness, for your love, for your accompaniment, for giving thanks that you yourself know what it's like to suffer, that you yourself know what it's like to grieve, that you yourself are grieving and feeling pain through your body, the church, we give you thanks for drawing so near to us that you don't even spare yourself that suffering. We ask that you be with this community here at Michigan State, all the students, all those grieving, all those wrestling with emotions, all those trying to figure out what happened, be with them, comfort them, give them the psychological healing that they need. Be with the victims. We will pray for the repose of the souls of the deceased. We pray for the health of those recovering we pray for the families most directly involved. And we pray for anyone who is feeling disoriented. Remind them of your love, of your comfort, and of your eternal care. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen.